Inventions. Mother necessity might be the herald of them in many ways, but the real fact of the matter is that inventions as a whole have moved our civilization, in terms of humans, forward in countless ways, even some of the simpler ones that have changed things for the better. Where would life be without pencils, or pens, or tissue paper, or cardboard boxes? Then the more you get up to inventions like computers, cars, and so on, you see that we as a society, that we totally live in, we've built some great things. The good news is, we're not done making stuff just yet. Here now are 20 most amazing and ingenious machines you need to see. Number 20. Walking Tractor Harvester If there is one group of people who have absolutely benefited from all the various things that we've made over the years, it would be the farmer. They've been working for a millennia on the various fields and areas where they live and grow crops for the people and the nations around them, and their life is not easy. As a result, all the big and powerful machines they can get are absolutely deserved. So that brings me to the John Deere Walking Tractor Harvester. This is a machine that almost looks like it's out of a science fiction movie or possibly Possibly could be a transformer. Either way, the goal of this machine was simple, to allow farmers not just better access to certain areas where the standard machines couldn't get to, but also to limit the effect that things like tires and treads can do to a farming area. It all may seem harmless as they're blasting through a spot, but their tracks can totally cause things like channels to form in the rain and even help with the erosion. This design would limit that, as it would have feet to support it instead of the very heavy wheels and tracks. Now, on the sad side of things, this particular machine didn't stand the test of time. The pictures that you're seeing are a prototype that John Deere made to show that it could work, and it did. It was able to grab things, cut down trees, and more, but it wasn't continued on after after it was completed. Still though, the concept is now out there, and you know that some people are going to refine that design so that it can work, because it would be a big help to farmers. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Number 19. Homer Terra Felis 3. Sticking with farming for a little while, we're going to look at the Homer Terra Felis 3. This is a massive machine that does one job, and does it very well, it cleans beets. No really, farmers use these to clean the beets that they've harvested, and to say that this machine has an intense and extensive cleaning process would be an understatement. The sugar beet passes through various cleaning stations, first in the Homer Vario Pick, followed by one of the four available post-cleaning options. The two stations are then connected by the 900mm wide in-feed conveyor, which, thanks in large part to a passageway to the market, guarantees powerful and gentle transport of the beats from the pickup to the post cleaning. It's an ingenious drop step system that ensures that the beets are gently transported from cleaning component to cleaning component. And arguably, the most important thing is that the machine knows that it can just do one cleaning process for all the beets. After all, farmers work on different terrain, and that means that they have different soils, different beets, and so on that they need to have cleaned. And so you can adjust the machine to account for different kinds of soils, kinds of beets, and more. Now you might think that an obvious thing, but but it's not. A lot of farming equipment goes for a one-size-fits-all motif with a few exceptions, but the amazing machines of the world need to have a kind of variability to them in order to form to the person, or in case the farmer, to get what they need when they need it in order to handle their crops with both efficiency and proper care. Number 18. Ortomec 9700 when you're working on a farm, you do have a whole lot to do, and sometimes you wish that the machinery could do even more for you so that you could get things done on your end elsewhere. Even something like driving a harvester around the farmland can be a very time-consuming and tedious thing, giving you less time to do other necessities. That's where the Ortomec 9700 comes into play. 
which is quite literally a self-propelling harvester. Now this model is used to harvest things like lettuce, but it's no less effective in doing that. The driver controls can be extended from the driver position for easy harvester maneuvering in tight spaces or areas with reduced visibility. Besides that, it increases the security during the loading and unloading from a transport or trailer. And you might be thinking to yourself, but if the driver has to be nearby, what's the point of it being self-propelling? Well, the answer is that the driver and his assistants will be able to take care of the lettuce after it's being harvested. They can personally go alongside the machine and put the lettuce up and into crates where it can then be taken away later. This saves on time and actually streamlines the process as a whole, which is more than enough reason for farmers to want this. The team behind it all has even admitted at the time of its creation that it's the most advanced device they ever had under their umbrella. Not something you'd expect from a lettuce harvester, but remember, lettuce, romaine, and other such items are big business. They're the backbone of salads, and you don't have a true cheeseburger without them. Number 17. The MakerBot 3D Printer Now, as promised, I'm stepping away from farming for a time to talk about a true marvel of an invention within our time. 3D printers were once something that were only seen in science fiction films and television shows, such as the legendary replicators on Star Trek, where they could make whatever they needed at a simple request. Now, though, we have our own version of that via things like the MakerBot 3D printer. Very loosely defined, what this machine is able to do is to take a 3D model from a computer program Program, and then, using various computer processes, it can cut out that very item in perfect scale being in inches, feet, etc., to the T, and that makes it look exactly like it was in the 3D file. In fact, the 3D file is arguably just as important as the printer, because what you see in the file will be what you get on the machine. So, let's say that you wanted to make a special box that had an intricate design on it. You'd make the box in the 3D modeling program of your choice, and make sure that it had that special design on it, scale it to the appropriate size in all directions, and then just feed it into the machine. You can have the printer make it out of wood, plastic, other materials. It'll slowly carve it out of a hunk of material, and then the result will very likely be exactly what you'd been looking for. You no doubt know that 3D printers are considered one of the greatest marvels of our time. They're being used everywhere, from scientists to cosplayers who are trying to make things like special weapons and armor for their designs. While the technology itself is still limited, the potential for it to grow into something truly magnificent well, that's worth all the anticipation, wouldn't you say? Number 16. Segmental Bridge Launching Machine Long throughout history, there are things that people look at and they just can't help but say, how in the world did they make that? Bridges are one of those items. We go across them quite a bit in our lives and sometimes they're so simple and small that we don't even think about going over them as we cross things like rivers. Then you look at stuff like the Golden Gate Bridge and it just boggles the mind that such things were even able to be made. The catch though is that it took a long time to get it to that place and even nowadays it can be very hard to make these bridges. That's why the Chinese wanted to expedite the process and made the device called the Segmental Bridge Launching Machine, which helps them to make a lot of their bridges and viaducts without having to do various complex scaffolding to set everything up. After picking up the beam that's needed from its point of origin, this machine will drive to the pillars of the bridge and lower a pneumatic support structure, which essentially anchors the machine to the first pillar. That allows it to extend itself out to the second pillar, and from here, it moves on to a third third, depositing the beam as it does so. You'll honestly have to see it to believe it, but that's why I'm showing you the footage now, that way you can understand it better. Now sure, it still needs people to be able to operate it, but there's a difference between needing people to help get something to work, and then a whole bunch of people needing to do the same thing. Efficiency and speed construction is what many are looking for today, and this device certainly helps with that. Number 15. SAM 100 if you want another example of a machine helping to boost efficiency of a project, you need only to look at the SAM 100. This is a literal brick-laying robot that, as you can see in the video, is very simply designed, yet absolutely does the work that it was intended to do by perfectly placing brick after brick after brick after brick after brick. Now, before you throw your arms up in frustration and say, ah, robots are taking away our jobs, you should really calm down for a minute. It's actually well noted that this machine 
machine doesn't take away people's jobs. Far from it, in fact. The robot is used in masonry projects, that's true, but the masons don't get taken off the job because of the robot, rather they're actually working with the robot to both get the job done faster and to ensure that the workers don't get injuries while they place the bricks. Now don't forget that masonry is a strenuous job. You're rising and lowering yourself with every brick you lay, and that's the literal definition of wear and tear. And if one of the workers gets injured, then the whole project may have to be shut down. The team behind the SAM 100 noted that with this machine, masons will still be able to work as they help set up the wall that is being put up brick by brick by brick, but the machine takes care of the heavy lifting, increasing productivity from three to five times what they would do without it. That seems like a worthy investment to me, but I don't know about you. SAM 100 can lay up to 3,000 bricks per day compared to the average 500 bricks per day that the construction worker can do. And when you multiply that per days in a week on the job, that can help to get the job done way ahead of time, which is what every worker and job owner wants, because then they can move on to the next job and make even more money. Number 14, John Deere 9RX series. Now I know I'm back to farming and sadly for you, that's where we're going to stay for a while, so strap in for the long haul, won't you? You know, just like a farmer would, just saying. In terms of the tools of the trade, the tractor is very much a bread and butter kind of machine for a farmer. The tractor helps them in the fields in a variety of ways, and they're both effective and multi-purpose depending on what you put on it or behind it. The John Deere 9RX series tractor is one that was meant to refine the process even further, while also being able to help the farmer in a multitude of more subtle ways. For example, you'll notice that the John Deere uses a tread model and wheel configuration versus going with the standard tires. The good news on that front is the treads actually smooth out the ride, while also ensuring that there's plenty of power being put to the ground and as such will help you to get the job done. Furthermore, due to how it's wired, it will actually help ensure that you don't have to check the oil on it every day and will even throttle back when it knows that it can so that you'll save on fuel. It's meant to be another all-purpose tool for farmers, and such, farmers should check it out. Number 13, Ecolog 590. Well, this is an offshoot of farming, so you can take what you get and, and enjoy it. While farming is a hard job, it's not exactly dangerous unless you make certain mistakes with the machinery. However, in the logging industry, the dangers are literally all around you. You have to use dangerous things to cut down the trees and logs, and then you have to hope that the logs will fall the right way so that they don't land on you and crush you to death. And then you need to take them where they have to go. Logging deaths occur every year, and sometimes the numbers are a lot higher than they should be. Enter the harvesting machines like the Ecolog 590F. With this machine, no job is too big. The Stage 5 Volvo Penta engine is specifically designed for high performance, reliability, and fuel efficiency, providing 320 horsepower at your disposal. Ecolog's unique pendulum arm suspension gives the 590F the best possible terrain features, and this model can also be equipped with a balanced bogey for added flexibility. Now, since the harvester is inside the cage body of the machine, that means that you don't have to worry about the logs falling on you and injuring you. You're taking a lot of risk out on the job while still ensuring that you're getting the job done quickly, efficiently, and most importantly, correctly. So yes, this is a pretty handy machine, and you can bet that many loggers are out there using these right now and enjoying having them in their arsenal. Number 12. Menzi Muck Walking Excavators Full disclosure here, while I'm sure that these are really incredible and ingenious machines, I do have some very valid issues about what's actually going on with them. You see, the Minzy Muck Walking Excavators are exactly as advertised. They are excavators that have the built-in prowess to walk across certain terrain better than other vehicles of its ilk, not unlike the ones that I've shown you earlier. The difference with these? Well, it's that they're able to be functioned by remote control. 
by that I mean the simple fact that you'll be able to control these from another city while wearing a VR headset. Yes, well and truly, you'll be able to strap on a VR headset and control the machine from a very long distance away, ensuring that the job gets done, but you don't actually need to be on site to do it. Is that a good thing or a bad thing? Some would say good, but that's not exactly correct. Because if you recall, there are certain things in this world that can and should be controlled remote and things that absolutely shouldn't. This is one of those that should not be controlled remotely. Now you may say, but you were fine with the lettuce machine being self-propelling. And yes, I was, because the farmer was right next to the machine the entire time. While VR is an incredible thing, it isn't able to give you all the access and control that you want. That's why there are so many people getting injured, because they don't clear the area around their living rooms as they do the VR and thus they crash themselves into things. And if they could work out all the kinks, then sure, it'll likely be worth it. But I'm fine with heavy duty machines like this one being piloted by people who are actually there. Number 11. VR Headsets since I just talked about them a little before, I'll bring them up once again. Video games and the consoles and or handhelds that they're played on are without a doubt a great example of ingenious technology. They entertain you and they're constantly getting better. But with VR headsets, they're meant to take you to the next level of both gaming and interaction. Through these headsets, you're seeing everything in the first person view and not from the way that you look at a television screen or a handheld. You are in the world and everything is happening all around you. That's part of the fun. The headset moves the world as you look around or guide yourself through it, and it makes you feel more alive in the gaming space. What's more, it can also be a tool to interact with others via avatar-style chat rooms, and that will make many feel that they can eliminate certain inefficiencies from the workplace. Now sure, the technology isn't perfect as of yet, and there are people who get in way more trouble than they should with this kind of thing, but it's also an incredible achievement, not the least of which is that that they're able to boost it even more, and we might all be closer to the dream of a Star Trek holodeck. Number 10. Robot Kitchen Here's one that I'm sure some of you would happily want right now. In the UK, they made a kitchen that's run by a robot. Featuring an advanced, fully functional robot integrated into a beautifully designed professional kitchen, it cooks with the skill and flair of a master chef, something many of us could definitely use right now. I'm not projecting at all. To be clear on something though, this is a robot that uses a pair of mechanical arms to take care of everything. It took the team behind it 18 years to create, but the results were a set of robot arms that could actually replicate everything that a set of human hands could do in the kitchen. The kitchen is operated by its touchscreen or remotely via smartphone when not in use the robotic arms retract from view the kitchen can also then be used in the normal way and in short what's not to love about this machine other than it's a uh, robot arms with knives that could totally become self-aware and murder you while you're eating your linguine number nine electric cars Fun fact, electric cars have actually been around for a lot longer than you may think, like a lot longer, but the problem was at the beginning, not many people had electricity, so gas-powered cars were better. Then, when electricity became more available, we got the problem of them costing too much to buy and then maintain, but fast forward to now and things are finally changing for the better. Not only do we have a company that helped make the way for the electric car use in the affordable sense via Tesla, a lot of other car manufacturers are getting in on the game at last. And of course, the Tesla models are the most famous because they work so hard to make the cars efficient and mostly affordable. They're not under $20,000 as of yet, but they're getting there and they could go hundreds of miles on a single charge. If we can get to the age of us all having electric cars instead of gas-powered ones, then the world could be in a better place, except that a lot of them tend to catch on fire and burn things down. But you know, it's always a work in progress. Number 8. Klein Vision Air Care Next up I have an airplane car. Well, it's truly a fusion of an airplane and a car, so behold the Klein Vision Air Car. 
Now I know that at first glance things don't exactly seem as they should. After all, it's literally a car with wings, but trust me when I say that it does fly, and it's even gotten clearance by the FAA after doing various tests to fly at will. That doesn't happen until they absolutely know that it's good to go. The best part though is that when it lands on the ground, it simply folds up into itself so that you can drive off without anyone really guessing that you're secretly driving an airplane. That doesn't mean that everyone's going to get one of these right away, of course, but the fact that it exists, well, that's pretty cool. Number 7. UAV Drones I'm going to get a bit controversial on this next one, but it's a necessary thing to talk about because this drone was one of those that helped to inspire all the other drones that we have in the market right now. The UAV drone, or Unmanned Aerial Vehicle Drone, is one of the most important creations of the military in the last few decades, and for the simplest of reasons. Usually, when they wanted to get pictures of something, you know, like spying or espionage, they had to risk sending a very expensive plane into hostile territory and hope that they didn't get shot down, or just rely on satellites, which aren't always the best. UAV drones are in most facets, which includes them being able to be piloted from miles away. They can go under radar range in order to get where they need to be, and should they be shot down, there's no loss of life. Yes, they may be controversial because of how they're used as weapons of war now more than ever, but don't knock the machine because of the people who use it poorly. Number 6. Medical Scanners to say that we've advanced in our medical technology would be an understatement. We used to be woefully unequipped to do just about anything in the medical field, and now we can help save lives just by knowing what's going on in your body. You know, about some of them, like the x-ray or the ultrasound, but it goes well beyond that these days. There are internal thermometers that you can swallow in order to get an incredibly accurate body temperature. Dentists even have scanners that can make a perfect 3D representation of your teeth so that you can figure out what's wrong with you. Uh, here's a clue, you don't floss enough. In short, or not so short, the more that we can scan the body for its woes, the better that medical professionals can be able to evaluate how to treat them. The machines that they're using are vital, and we should all be grateful for them in the long run. Number 5. Racing Simulator now we're getting back to the more fun machines. You'll likely know that there are gaming platforms that try to give you that ultimate feel and experience of playing a game as if you were actually in it. One of the best ones is that of the 4x4 racing simulator. In a racing simulator, you sit in a space that'll accurately have you feeling the race as you drive your car. It's going to ensure that it moves as you turn, you'll feel the g-forces on you from the chair in which you sit, and even more. You'll feel every bump and vibration possible. And before you say that's only for gamers, it's actually not. Many professionals actually train with these at their homes in order to be ready for race season. Number 4. Flame Throwing Tractor Oh sure, now I have your attention with farming equipment. All I had to do was mention a flamethrower being put on it, didn't I? Now before you wonder if this is some kind of Mad Max Beyond Thunderdome scenario, it's not. To be a truly organic farmer, you can't use things like pesticides or herbicides to get rid of things like pests or weeds. So to compensate, they literally burn it all. Tractors can be rigged up with a giant flamethrower attachment that's connected to a tank of propane that spits fire down the gaps between the rows of crops. This technique is called flame weeding, and it's an ancient tool in the fight against those unwanted plants. It's a delicate process, obviously, but it's also one of the coolest things that you'll be able to see all day long. Number 3. Wave Energy Converter one of the things that we've been trying to do a lot in our world is that of converting things into natural energy. That's so that we don't have to keep relying on fossil fuels. A wave energy converter, for example, is a device that takes the waves of the ocean and then turns them into electrical energy. Oh, and there are a lot of them out there, believe it or not. Many thousands, in fact. They come in a variety of shapes, sizes, and styles. And while they aren't a foolproof way of getting all the energy that we need to wean off fossil fuels, every step counts. Number 2. Robots 
We all know that robots are going to be the reason that we as humans are wiped off the face of the planet, right? We can all accept that when they come self-aware and actually murder us all for just being something that they're not. Well, even if you said yes, a lot of people didn't get the memo or don't actually believe it because we made all kinds of robots over the last 20 plus years that have edged us even closer to Judgment Day. And as Arnold Schwarzenegger once said, Judgment Day is inevitable. He's absolutely right on that front. We've made robots that can dance, we've made robots that can imitate humans by talking with us, and we've even made robots that win Jeopardy against some of its best contestants. We've gotten robots that'll actually open doors for other robots. And while it's not a robot that we technically need to fear right now, Japan made a massive Gundam that actually moves. The signs? Well, they speak for themselves, people. Number one, water jetpack. Finally, and to cleanse our minds of Judgment Day and get them off of being murdered by robots, let's talk about a fun machine that many are enjoying even right now. The Water Jetpack is an epic machine that takes the water from a beach area and channels it downward into a propulsive force that allows you to literally fly about 40 feet in the air. If that sounds fun, well, it's because it is. It's honestly easy to control so long as you don't try to get too clever with it. Plus, if you do and you fall, well, you fall into water so it's not the worst thing ever. These things are getting more and more popular and they may just become the next great aqua attraction. That's all from the realm of incredibly great machines and designs that have been made recently. Can you even believe that some of these things not only exist but actually work given how they look at times? And which of these inventions do you wish you could have where you're at now? Be sure to let me know all about it in the comment section down below. Check out the other cool things that are showing up on the screen and I'll see you next time.